Here we have example six from section 9.5. So um, we have to take the absolute value test. So absolute value test, which means we're gonna take the absolute value of our original series And then that means the alternating part will go away. And then for n equal to one, two, three, so on and so forth to infinity, both of these expressions are positive, so we no longer need the absolute value bars. Now, um, I don't know what's gonna happen to this problem exactly, because if I take the, oh no, let's see, let's apply the nth term test to this. So if I take the limit as my a n goes to infinity, I can apply L'Hopital's rule, which means the derivative of the numerator is three, derivative of the denominator is three, which means this limit will equal one. But if that limit equals one, then it autumn and it's not zero, then that means that it diverges. So this guy diverges. which means I need to go back to the original and find out whether it converges or diverges. So let's go back to the original and look at that. It is an alternating series, so I'm gonna apply the alternating series test. So which means part one, we're gonna take the part without the alternating part and find the limit of that as n approaches infinity. Now I kind of have already done the work because if you'll notice, this is exactly that, right? So we already know it's going to be 1, which doesn't equal 0, um, which means it's going to diverge. So I, I was going to apply the absolute value test, but it kind of turned into the nth term test. And so then we know that it diverges. So our series diverges. And so does the absolute value. So altogether, everything is just divergent completely.